Hi Eagles! My name is Michaela and I am third grader Ethan Labortis' mom. Hi Ethan. And one of the only things I enjoy more than embarrassing my kids is reading. And today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors. You may have heard of him. He wrote books like Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. There's a lot of pigeon books out there, um, but not so many about the creature we're going to read about today. Today I'd like to share with you, while I'm sitting parked in the pickup line, waiting for Ethan, <laughs> one of, again, one of my favorite books. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. They are a little bit rat. They are a little bit mole. They are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Look. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew, yuck, what are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or cool or funny or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open its door or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea clothes. Fun. Warmer. Try it. Sail. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ah, uh, the other naked mole rat said. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes! Why not? Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Grandpa was very wise. Hmm. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Aww. Then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation, a proclamation, a proclamation! But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. to page. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed. Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun 
Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Some of the mole rats were naked. Some of the mole rats were clothed. All of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. Clothes, all sizes, Grandpa approved. Why not? And that was Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. I hope you guys enjoyed it and keep reading.